Hey, hello, and happy Fun Fold Friday, you guys. Um, this uh, card tutorial this morning, for those of you who follow me on Facebook, um, is a little difficult, but um, I'm going to get through it. I am dedicating this tutorial to my very, very good friend and my upline, Francine Wilson. She passed away last night. She was fighting ALS for many months. And for those of you who have ever experienced uh, a friend or family who has suffered from that awful disease, um, you know what we're going through right now. And uh, she was only 62 years old and a beautiful, beautiful woman and so creative. So this uh, card tutorial is, is in her name. Okay. I don't know how I feel. I, I feel kind of numb, I guess. Um, I knew I, I wanted to come on here and do the Fun Fold Friday, but I'm not in the most joyous mood. But um, I love making cards, and I know that crafting is an excellent way to deal with grief, and especially when the person who passed was a crafter with you. And she, uh, like I said, she was my upline. She, uh, Stampin' Up! is a direct sales company, and I signed up underneath her. And we did everything together. We, but I'm not going to cry. I'm going to make a card. <laughs> I'm going to make a friendship card for her. And uh, um, that's it. That's all I'm going to say, because I'll start crying if I talk anymore. All right. Good morning. <laughs> uh, speaking of friends, uh, let me move all this out of the way. Um, all of you, of course, are my friends, too. And uh, I love it when you all send me cards. It does. It cheers me up more than you know. Um, I have a mess here because I was trying to finish the card before 9.30 and uh, kind of ran out of time, but that's okay. Um, anyways, uh, Wanda is on my team and I want to say thank you, Wanda. Let me move this over here. There you go. Thank you, Wanda. Uh, she uh, sent me a card. I haven't even opened it. I need to look at it before I show it to you guys, just in case there's anything in there she doesn't want the whole world to see. <laughs> I'm only here for the pie. Yes. Oh, can't wait for Thanksgiving. Oh, look at the beautiful Thanksgiving card. I love that. And using our cottage uh, gingham there. Nope, it's just, it's nothing to, to worry about. Uh, it's a beautiful thank you card. And there is always something to be thankful for, even when your good friend passes. I am so thankful that I got to know Francine. I knew her for eight years. Uh, five of those years, we were stamping up buddies and literally did everything together. Um, if you follow me on Facebook, last night I put a, a slideshow up of some of the pictures of us. I have I had way too many pictures of the two of us because I am way into selfies. But anyways, um, that's it. Okay. Oh, oh well, I will look that up, Kathy. Thank you. Revelations twenty one three and four. I I love scripture. Scripture is another way to get me through grief. My Lord and Savior is definitely always with me, and she is up there dancing with him. <laughs> And, um, and not suffering from ALS anymore. Gosh, that's a... Anyways, okay. Thank you, Wanda. Ooh, so today I'm going to do a two for one today. So two fun folds in one card. All right. So I'm combining two fun folds. Oh, look at all that sunlight. You know, with daylight savings, the sun is at a different angle now. Let me pull that up. There we go. And I haven't even turned on my lights yet. Oh my goodness. I'm way behind. Sorry. Hold on. Let me get all these lights on. Uh, okay. Um, two for one. So, uh, a book binding card, which is a card that, you know, has the bind on it and it looks like a little book and then a, uh, what's called a twisted easel. So, uh, it's scored on the diagonal and so you can prop it up and it's an easel card. So I made it and then I'm going to show you how I made it. Okay. I made it and I put it somewhere and <laughs> there it is. <laughs> I moved everything off my desk and put everything on top of it. Here we go. So this is called a, um, what is this called? One more time. A twisted easel book bind card. All right. So this is what it looks like when it comes out of the envelope. And this here is sealed shut. So it only opens like that, but it's on a diagonal. And then there's a little thing to hook it on right there. Okay. So this is called a twisted easel bookbind card. So two for one. <laughs> so I'm going to show you how I made this. Um, 
Also, I want to remind you guys today, <coughs> excuse me, oh, a little dust in my throat. Um, today is the last day for our seasonal sale. And so I'm using items from this that are on sale today. This beautiful flower right here is from Cottage Rose. Now, I want to point something out to you. Cottage Rose right now is sold as a bundle. However, the bundle is $53. If you, but we're having the sale and individually, these two things are on sale individually and it's less expensive. So if you want the Cottage Rose bundle, do not buy the bundle, buy them individually. Because if you do that, it's only $48.49 versus $53. Um, the stamp set's $21.25 today and the dies are $27.20 today. All right. So I just want to point that out to you because a lot of people were kind of confused about that. So this is the bundle I'm using and it says Friends Forever right there. And then... The paper that goes with it, the designer paper is on sale also. Abigail Rose, isn't that beautiful? It's just so soft and lovely. It's just, it's pleasing. It's peaceful. <laughs> yes. And so that is on sale today. Um, what else? What else am I using today? I am also using the layered circles. Whoa. If you all don't have the layered circles yet... Okay, I put the tag on there. They're on sale for 28. They're usually 35. This is a great stamp uh, die set if you like uh, scallop circles with uh, straight edge circles and they layer perfectly. Um, and then last but not least, of course, the stylish dies. They're on sale also. I didn't pull up the price on them, but um, they're on sale today also. So those are uh, everything I'm using today that's on sale, at least that I can think of. Put it all away. So we can make our card. All right. Whew, let me see if I've got any questions or anything. Woo, lots of people here this morning. I love it. Uh, hey, Katie. Thank you, Vicki, Susan. Yes, it is sad. I um, I love Francine very, very much. She was a beautiful, beautiful person. And she would do anything for you. I mean, literally, she'd drop what she was doing and come help you. Anybody. It was so awesome. Okay. So uh, let me pull out what we need. The first stuff, first of all, we just need a four and a quarter by 11 card base. All right. So let me pull that out. Four and 11. Let me put the um, measurements up here. There we go. And we are going to score this at four and a quarter and five and a half. All right. That's pretty easy to remember. So get out your scoring tool and, oh, excuse me. Four and a quarter and five and a half. So remember, use the scoring blade. Use the scoring blade, not the cutting blade. <clears throat> there we go. And then five and a half. All right, we got that. Now, this is the card regular, but we're going to fold this back, okay? And we're going to create the book bind right here. We're going to glue that shut so it only opens like this. Now, we also need the diagonal. So this is where part two comes in. Okay. And what we're going to do now, we need to make sure, hold on, let me pull the example out. We need to make sure it opens like this. So we need to make sure our diagonal goes from the bottom left to the top right. All right. So it, it'll open correctly. So from the bottom left to the top right, and you just put the Two points in the groove, line it up on the groove there. Close that. And voila. And you just fold that down. And <laughs> we have our double two for one. The next part is the uh, designer paper here. I have the the gray down first and then i have now the this time over here i have the stripes going up and down you can have them going up and down or you can have them going diagonal i mean horizontal anyway but what you'll need to cut them in half first on the diagonal okay before you attach them because if you attach them and then you try to it just doesn't bend very well so let's get out our trimmer again and this time we're going to use our blade and we're going to cut these guys right down the diagonal Okay, and this one is cut at four inches. Oh, let me put that measurement up. 
Okay, where am I? There we go. Yep. So a four inch and a three and three quarters. So basically it's the the card base part here is four and a quarter square. So we're just going down by a quarter inch each time. Oh, and one more thing. Get your blade in the center of the paper first, because if you come in here with your blade, it's going to hit that point of that paper and it's going to crumple it. OK, so if you start in the middle and go back and forth, then you get a cleaner cut. Another little tip for you. <laughs> Lots of tips this morning. OK. All right, so I've got that done. Now let's put those on the card. And I'm just using liquid glue this morning. Oh, let's go ahead and close this up. So just put some glue right there on the bind and close that. Hold that for a sec. Okay. And now my gray pieces go first. Okay. And I am using the soft succulent cardstock. Even though that's not actually a color in the designer paper, it just goes beautifully with it. And the leaves, um, to color my leaves here. And I'm going to show you how I do that variegated leaf there. Uh, so stay, don't, don't turn me off yet. Um, stay, to the, stay a while and watch how I do that. Um, if you want to learn how to make your leaves when you color them look that way. All right. And then here we go. So there we've got those two on there. Now, <clears throat> this these pieces. And now this you get to make sure you do correctly. So get them together again and make sure I'm, yeah, that's right. Okay. Okay. And then this piece. So that went, to, went together pretty well. There we go. All right. Now that we have that, we still need this piece right here. Let me grab that. All right. Come on, pieces. Y'all are being ornery. <laughs> Got ornery paper here. There we go. Yeah. Just a little up here, a little down here. Yeah, not very much glue, you guys. Remember, our Tombow glue, whew, it is some sticky stuff. So you don't need very much at all. Not at all. Just a thin, thin layer. Okay, so we have that part done. Um, see some more comments coming up. Oh, okay. Yeah, Katie says, uh, I think it would cut two pieces of DSP and have the stripes going opposite of each other. That would be cool, too. Yeah, great idea. Um, oh, Patty's at the doctor's office watching us. Love it. Yeah, share it with all the people in the waiting room. <laughs> Doris, you're not too late. I'm just getting started. And remember, um, all these measurements will be on my blog. Like I said, uh, that's always a not right away. Give me some time once I've made this and I can take pictures and get it up there. Okay, next thing is the inside of our card. And instead of cards, white uh, vanilla cardstock, they had this in the set. This is a part of the paper. And I thought, oh, that's kind of cute. It's, um, what would you call that? Uh, hold on, ledger paper. <laughs> or in my case, school book paper. But actually, if you look at it carefully, it looks like uh, a census record, genealogy, but uh, that's neither here nor there. I just thought it'd be pretty for the inside. So it's cut at four inches and uh, to give myself a nice pretty green border on the inside. Mm -hmm. Yeah, come on. There we go. And you could put white triangles over here if you needed more room to write a message. Um, I'm not going to do that at this time, but all right. So that there we have the card. That's that's how the card. Now, the card has to have something to prop it up with. So we're going. Uh, let me show you what I did here. So I put the Friends Forever up on dimensionals. So it has 
a little a kickstand. Okay. Let's see. It looks like that. Isn't that cool? I love this card. All right. I'm hoping y'all are loving this card too. Okay. Uh, last but not least, we need to layer our circles. Now, like I said, this is the layering circle die set. Um, and they just fit together perfectly. And I love a good scallop circle. Whoops. There we go. And we have the stitch circles too, but I like this. It just, it's, it goes with roses, I think. I think it goes with this set beautifully. Just that little extra detail. Now this is got, to be careful, you don't want to glue it to the, up here, because then you won't be able to open it, all right? So it's going to be right there. So I only want glue down here. Okay. Double check. Yep. And kind of center it. Okay. And just hold that for a sec. <laughs> How are we doing, you guys? Got any questions yet? All right. Let me look. Zoom up here looking for questions. We. Nope. 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 No questions so far. Oh, I so appreciate you guys who share this. Yeah, when you share the video, it gets out to more people so more people can join us. I love it. I love it. And of course, like it and comment. The comments mostly help. So I love it. Um, we've got our card there. Now let's make our pretty rose. So I'm going to put this to the side for a sec and put all this to the side for a sec. Get myself some space here. Close my glue up. And I'm going to pull out my Stamparatus. I hardly ever use this thing. Okay. Because you know what? I'm making this card for all of my good friends. I This is Francine's day. And today's day is all about friendship. And when you lose someone you love who's a good friend, it, it just, like I said, they said to, uh, one another idea is to make a scrapbook of you and your friends. So I, I did that. Um, Slideshow, I'll put that on Facebook, but I will make an official scrapbook because I do love scrapbooking and we scrap, we went to scrapbook retreats <laughs> all the time. Oh my gosh. Uh, we did so much together. It's just it's so sad. I hate it, but okay. Um, so I put all this on one thing. Okay. And just ink it all up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There you go. Okay, now, have y'all seen that stamp positioning tool that, like, has a piece of felt on the bottom and you rub it? Well, I learned this from Jennifer McGuire. <laughs> just use the edge of your sleeve. Works just as good. All right. Whoa, okay. Need a little more ink. Rot bar. Okay, this is the best thing about the stamp positioning tool. Perfect. Love it. Okay, now I need to get my stamp cleaner. Hold on, I just had it. Oh, come on. There it is. Ah. Come here. Ah. Question. Joyce says, uh, seems I missed something. Why did you use the triangles one on top of another hiding the pretty DSP? Oh, uh, just because, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, uh, Joyce, I'm, I was just trying to use up DSP instead of getting out more cardstock. DSP is thinner than cardstock, so it keeps the card a little thinner. Uh, that's another, it's not really the real reason. The real reason is just because I liked that, that, that paper and you can kind of see it. I'll pull it up again so you can see the edge. Hold on. Okay. There we go. Okay. So, oh, I forgot. I've got to zoom in to do it. All right. There you go. So see, you can kind of see a little bit instead of gray cardstock that's solid. This is a little softer, um, but there's no reason. It was just my, my choice. Um, okay. Move this away. And now I'm going to show you how to color the leaves so they look variegated. Let me pull it back out so you can see again. Okay. Oh, Keep forgetting I can't lift it up to the camera. I have to zoom in. So see how the leaves are variegated like that? Looks kind of soft and pretty. Let me show you how I did that. All right, there we go. Um, I want to make sure this is dry. I'm noticing the ink is very thick right there, and I'm thinking maybe it might be puddled. 
And if it's puddled, it's going to take a little longer to dry. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to rub it. I'm just going to take a cloth. And make sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let me get this one. And that one. Okay. Just making sure it's dry. Yeah, it is. Phew. <laughs> And get out my colors. So we're going to start with the rose. And we have the uh, petal pink, which is nice that we actually have that color in the in the blends. Um, we don't have every color in the blends, but we have this one. All right, we'll start with the dark. And I like the bullet end. Some people like the paintbrush end. I'm just going to go in where they have the artist has put these lines. And I'm not even being real careful. I'm just throwing it down. Yeah. Okay. And then these on the outside edge are definitely dark all the way. Okay. This one in here. All right. So that's that. Oh, and I forgot these over here. So I use this little one to hold my um, friends forever tag on the inside. So that's why I have that. And I'm just going to color it solid. I'm not going to be real careful on that one. Um, but then we come in with the light. And now where the dark meets the cardstock. And I'm using very vanilla, by the way. Um, you just kind of rub that section. And we're not coloring the whole petal. We're just coloring where it meets so that the ink, the alcohol will pull the ink and make it blend look blended okay okay yeah there we go looks good let it dry and we do the exact same thing with the leaves so you come in with the dark whoa in the corner where it grows from the stem okay and just kind of pull the ink up and this is all there is to it. And then we're going to take the light and do the same thing. And it's going to pull the ink up into the cardstock that's not colored and make it look soft and blended. That is the wonder of Stampin' Blends <laughs> of alcohol markers. So I know there are other alcohol markers on the market. Uh, I'm just biased to mine because I love Stampin' Up. Stampin' Up's like the best company in the whole world. <laughs> oh my goodness all right here we go okay i think i got it all yep and now for the magic let me zoom in so you can see just a wee bit better there you go okay now you just, where the two lines meet, and you just rub it. And then when that dries, it looks really awesome. Okay, let's die cut this out. We have uh, different dies. So I can cut it all out at once. Well, I actually can't. I just uh, discovered that this piece is on a huge die. So let me show you how this works. Where's my die? Cottage flower dies, yeah. Okay, so how this how you cut this piece out is with this big piece so, oops i'm still zoomed in sorry about that come on oh no why is that not ah, shoot okay there we go <laughs> sorry about that you guys okay um so i noticed that to cut those out it's like that and it's over my leaf so i've got to cut this off hold on whoops where are my big scissors there they are
And of course, I don't want to mess up all that paper. And that goes in my scrap pile. Okay. So this goes there like that. A piece of tape. Tape that down. Okay, got that piece. <clears throat> and then these two pieces. This one. Oh, my tape is stuck here on my table. Yep. Okay, and then this piece. Yay. These are almost geometric enough where you could cut it yourself by hand, but not. <laughs> I just love having dies. Okay, and we'll just hold that on. Come on, stick. There we go. All right, so I've got my I've got my dies here. Let me pull that up. And I put on my lid. Run it through. Okay. Whew. Oh, I'm noticing another tip I need to show you. Okay, my uh, cutting machine, I cut like every day on this thing, but I want you all to see how it's starting to, well, you can barely tell, but it's, if I line it up on the, it's starting to bow, starting to come up. As soon as it starts to do that, flip it over and start going the other way. Don't let it get so bad that you've got like a U-shape because once that happens, if you try to turn it over, you could crack the plate. So watch it. Every time it starts to look like, oh, it's starting to pop up in the middle, let me flip it over, okay? That keeps your plate lasting forever. Well, not forever, but pretty long time. I've like gone six months with that. And like I said, I, I cut a lot of stuff out. <laughs> Okay, let's pull this off of here. Scrap. And, okay. And then I can save these little flowers for later or find a place to put them on the card. I don't know. Haven't decided, but I've got this piece. Okay, got all that. Got that. Okay, where are we? We are, let me double check for questions. Uh, L. Dawson says, I made a stamping tool uh, using a favorite wood stamp mount and covered the stamp side with furniture felt. Oh, that's a great idea. So like I used the, my sleeve with my fist. She made herself. Oh, that's great. Oh, all right. Oh, Katie, that's good. She made one out of an old candle lid. And there's this pink glitter. Love it. All right. Oh, question. Okay, no, that was the question I answered about the DSP. All right, good deal. Um, I'll put my little flowers on the envelope. Thank you. That's a great idea, Vicki. That is exactly what I will do. Okay, let me get this out of the way. And out of the way. And where's the card we're working on here? Okay. Uh, I have something else. Okay, come on. Oh, yeah. The punches are on sale also. And this punch is originally 19 and it for 10% off, uh, 17.10. But this is the bow punch. I use this all the time because I love sprigs, but I don't like cutting them out one at a time on a cutting, uh, cutting emboss machine. So I just use, um, okay, lost my paper. Hold on. Let me grab another piece. There we go. We're doing black. Black sprigs. That's unique, isn't it? Okay, come on. And if you guys have any problem with your hand, you will need dies. I'm getting to where I can't use punches very much anymore. It's not my hand so much as it is my tendonitis in my elbow. To, um, all right, I got my sprigs. I got my, my leaf. This goes on the inside. What else do I need? Oh, I need my sentiment. Okay, let's do the sentiment. While we're here, here we go, and black ink. Ah, oh, Deborah uses an air hockey puck. You guys are geniuses. Love it. But yeah, you need something. You need something. Okay, friends forever. Friends forever. 
Okay. Where are my stitched dies? Here they are. And of course, these are like absolute pieces you have to have. <laughs> just so nice. Just lay that down and cut it out. Okay. And I'm putting it pretty far to the side because I want that rose to be over there. So, all right, there we go. Okay. Okay. Now, for those of you who are joining us late, I've seen lots and lots of comments. Oh, I came in late. I came in late. Um, let me tell you what we're doing. We are creating a double fun fold, two folds in one. Um, it is a book bind fold. So that is sealed shut right there. So it's like a book, but it's also a twisted easel fold. And we're going to put this friends forever right here to hold it in place. All right, so let's, um, I've got that, that. Let's go ahead and put our rows together. Now, another thing I like to do is put twine down underneath it. So I'm just going to wrap. Whoa, no, you don't, little fella. A couple of times, maybe three times. That'll be enough. Snip that and then come on the back of my rows here and put some adhesive. Okay, it's all twisted up, of course. There we go. Oops, you know what? I want where the pieces come together right there. Okay. Let's see. Let's do that. Let's see how that looks. Kind of turn it over. Um, yeah, it'll do. I like it. Okay, well, actually, it goes like that, so... That'll be fun. Okay, so we got that on there. Now we need uh, this piece coming out over here. All right, so I'm just going to put a dab of glue there. I tend to create, I tend to build my bouquet by itself and then adhere it to the card, but you can do it both ways. But this way I know how to place it once I've got all the pieces in there. There we go. And I just want that to come out like that. And then I've got two black sprigs, <laughs> if I can find them. There we go. So here's one. And I'm going to have that one come out up here. There we go. Oh, it looks like I cut off those leaves. Oh, well. Okay. And then the other one, the bottom. There we go. Out here. There. Perfect. So there's my bouquet. Now I need dimensionals. Okay. But is it going to fit? Let's make sure it fits. Okay. Yep. This little guy might have to move over though, because he's wanting to come off the end of the card. Okay. Yeah. Just put it up further. There we go. Now make sure your, yeah, your dimensionals can be anywhere because they're just going to go on this circle. Um, you're not going to worry about adhering it to the back here. So where are they? Did I put them away? I did. All right, here we go. Now let's use the dimensionals to hold some of this in place, okay? Like this sprig, let's hold that in place. And this sprig, we'll hold that in place. And this sprig, hold that one in place. And then we'll put one down here to kind of balance it out. There we go. All right, that looks good. Oh, and of course, the, I don't, maybe it's just this one pack, but I'm really having trouble getting the backs of these off this week. There we go. Okay. And now... Perfect. And of course, you can't have a card without bling. Got to have bling. And uh, I showed you all this new trick I learned. I didn't really 
learn it. I, wa I watch YouTube videos also. And I found a way to pick up these things without losing them. And that is you slide them on the plastic and then they stick to the putty. So let's put one there and then a little one. There's little ones up here. Oops, come on. There we go. Two, and then I'll stick one. My putty's getting kind of flattened out. There we go. Put one there. I love it. Okay, we're almost done. So this is the front of the card. Let me zoom in so you can see it better. Okay, so there's the front of the card. And then when you open it up, so they'll the, the friend will open it up and do this and go oh what and hopefully figure out <laughs> that it hooks um on here sometimes you have to like put a little post-it note to explain what's going on but um for the most part most people can figure it out good okay and i also wanted um a little bit of leaf so this will kind of go right there like that all right and then i'm also going to put a little bit of sprig under there too so let me uh Put a wee bit of glue, not very much. Remember, you don't need much with Tombow glue. There we go. And then I need my uh, soft, soft succulent. There we go, soft succulent and the punch. Okay, but I only need a couple of leaves, so I'm just going to take this tip off of here. There we go. And just stick that back there like that. Yeah, it's cute. Actually, I think I'll stick it under the flower. Oh, wait a minute, I forgot. Yeah, I was uh, realizing that, that you can't have the leaf. Okay, hold on. Let me show you. You cannot have the leaf going up into the easel, okay? Uh, um, it gets in the way. So you have to have your leaves coming down. If you're going to put leaves on here, you got to have them coming down. So I think I will flip it over and use this side or this side. Come on. Oh, I glued it down. <sighs> Mike can still get it under there. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Perfect. Okay, now I can put that on there. And so you pop up your easel and see where you want. Well, get the dimensionals on the back. There we go. Come on. Ooh, they're just really stuck to the... <laughs> okay, and here's just how you do it. So you just pull it up to where it should stay and then... Put it down where it goes. Okay. And that's all there is to it. All right. And so then you close it and you put it, and it's kind of thick, but that's okay. Um, and then when they get it, they just pop it up like that. Friends forever. Ha <laughs> ha. So I have two of them. Yay. And let me show what it looks like on the front. So this is what it looks like on the tabletop. Whoa, I need to zoom out. Hold on. Whoa, other way. There you go. Now you can see it. So it looks like that. Isn't that beautiful? So it's a double, we got two for one fold today, a book bind fold and a twisted easel fold. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Thank you all so much for your friendship and your love and uh, watching me <laughs> make all my mistakes and everything. I love it. Oh, 40 minute uh, video. Sorry it took so long this morning, you guys, but I really wanted to show you how to make this card. And uh, I hope you learned a lot uh, that it was helpful to you. That you're getting lots and lots of value out of these uh, videos I do for you because that's all I want to do. I just want to share making beautiful cards. And uh, you all have a blessed weekend. And I will see you for Monday night stamping. All right. And oh, and then of course, Wednesday and Friday next week. Uh-uh. No, 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 no live. Sorry. I'll be up to my elbows in Turkey. <laughs> so uh, just Monday night live, then no live on uh, Wednesday or, oh, and my gosh, I was supposed to do two drawings on Wednesday. Ay, ay, ay. All right. That, that, we'll figure out something. Okay. You guys are so awesome. Thanks for putting up with me. I love you guys. And don't forget, we uh, today's the last day for the sale. And um, 
And if you're not on my newsletter, get on my newsletter. Okay. Bye-bye.